Back in Puerto Vallarta and moving from the Maria Casa Magna just down the beach a bit, my next stop brings me to the NH Cristal. The Cristal has been a fixture in the Vallarta resort scene for decades. When it was first built in the 60s, it also included um, the local bullring was actually part of our property. Um, it's a lot of locals really know the property well. The, what we call our walking streets in the resort are actually on the Vallarta street map. So it's really one of the original properties um, in Vallarta. History is great, but this grand old lady was desperately in need of renovation. And in recent years, it's undergone both renovation and expansion. Thanks to the new Grand Tower opened just last year, which features these deluxe rooms with marble floors and flat screen TVs, the NH Club Tower with 128 total rooms and villas throughout the property, the NH Cristal now has more than 500 total rooms. Thanks to its layout and landscaping, even when all those rooms are occupied, the resort never feels full or in the least bit crowded. It's a really unique property in that it, it's one of the original ones and it somehow managed to modernize itself while still holding on to the, the brickwork you see around me. I always recommend it to people that if they like to go walking at night, they don't even have to leave the resort. They can just wander around and they're in gardens and you know, we've got butterflies flittering around us and things like that. So The, the landscaping is really outstanding and one of the reasons for it is the age. These are mature plantings. Exactly. You don't have a five foot palm tree. You've got gigantic palm trees. I, one thing that I really like is even from the, the rooms, a lot of people when they come to Mexico, they want ocean view. But even our non-ocean view rooms, you're not overlooking a parking lot. You're overlooking the whole resort. You, you're looking at the tops of palm trees and everything. So it's, it's a different type of property. Oh, and let's not forget about the spa. The Millennium Spa and Wellness Center is among Vallarta's finest. With five treatment rooms and seven jacuzzis, you can see why this spot is a popular one, especially around sunset. While there have clearly been big changes in the physical side of the Cristal, there's also been major moves on the culinary front, including moving to more of an all-inclusive program with the goal of getting people inside the resort and keeping them there. So that's why we decide to make uh, team parties during the night to to get every day to different uh, kind of shows and to keep the uh, customer uh, interesting to stay in the hotel and they, when they're back to the uh, where they come from they talk to the people so that's why we to be increase uh, the tourists come to the hotel. As for the cuisine there are several options at the Cristal but the workhorse restaurant is Las Velas. That's where we got the food for the camera which all looks sumptuous. There was mahi mahi in a coriander sauce, a stuffed and breaded chicken breast served in a Merlot reduction sauce with spaghetti vegetables, a capriche salad with a mustard vinaigrette dressing, the house salad in a mango dressing, and a fruit tart. But it's not just a matter of having good cuisine at the NH Cristal, it's also about coming up with innovative ways to keep guests happy, like the new Dine Out program. We know guests aren't going to want to eat in the hotel every day, even if we have four a la carte restaurants. We know that they're going to want to go out and explore, and we want them to see Vallarta. So basically, we made partnerships with about six different local restaurants, and our guests can make reservations, and then they can go and have dinner at these local restaurants, and it's still all included in their all-inclusive package. A real win-win, or win-win-win, for the Cristal, the local restaurants, and the guests. Why doesn't that surprise me? The NH Cristal, a beautiful setting with very good food, and that's a winning combination.